Now you're going to create a summary and response visual presentation. You've already written a summary, and that is the part where it says here on this slide, they say. In other words, you summarize what the author said. Now you will respond, which is the part on this slide that says, I say. So you get to respond and say what you have to say about the article you chose for your summary. When the summary and response is assigned as an essay, it usually looks similar to what you see in your textbook. The first paragraph is the summary that you already wrote. Usually the professor will give you feedback. You will revise the summary and incorporate that into the summary and response. Then you respond in the next paragraph or the next two paragraphs. Sometimes people only use one paragraph to respond. Sometimes people use two. Make sure you choose a response style. Recently, when you wrote your summary, it was just one objective paragraph. It did not contain your opinions. It did not have quotes. It only had paraphrases. With the response, you get to choose how you want to respond. Are you analyzing? Are you reflecting? Are you arguing? You will use direct quotes. Be sure to sandwich your quotes. Remember, your response is brief. The presentation will not take long. Remember, if you were submitting this as an essay, it would only be two to three paragraphs. So this is not a long presentation. Some outlines in your textbook, and here I have created a brief outline where step one, you want to briefly mention who and what you summarized so you know you wrote that summary. So what, what did you summarize? Who wrote that? What was it about? Just briefly go over that. Then go ahead and dedicate most of your presentation to responding using the response style that you chose. Make sure I can hear you. Make sure I can see you. Remember, creativity is encouraged, but not required. In-text citations are not required. However, students previously have incorporated them into slides. That's fine and up to you since this is visual. It depends on how you respond visually. If you have slides, then you can put in-text citations. If you're just doing a video or maybe you're using a poster board, I've seen so many different things. Well, you won't have in-text citations. This presentation is brief. Be sure to familiarize yourself with the rubric so you can know how I'm grading this. For this online course, I always provide you a rubric so that there are no surprises with your grade.